Hello, my wonderful students. Today, we're going to start a new lesson. Lesson four, children's rights. Today, we're going to explore different types of ways of how we can help out children that need, that need help in different countries. Let's get started. We'll review back to, as we all know, the theme, which we are working on who we are, which has the most important types of words that we took until this period of time, which we took about relationships, which we took about responsibilities and rights, which we took about the cultures, about the families, the communities, the nature of the self, the cultures and friends, and so on. For this week at grade four, we are going to learn how we can protect or help out children that need help or that do not have the rights as we all have at this period of time. Now, we have, as you can all see, there are different children in all the world that do not get the freedom that, they, that we get in this country, that need help, that we can help them in one way or the other. Okay, we are going to go directly to the most important part of this lesson, which is activity. We are going to learn and jot down ideas of how we can help out people that need help in different countries, how we can give them specifically in children's rights, how we can help protect children's rights and how we can help them feel that they have the right that every child needs in this world. As we all know that we have different people from long time that used to help us or give us the freedom of the right that we needed. We had Martin Luther King, which we took last week, which was one important famous person that impacted our important, an important thing in our life that helped stop segregation which was a separation between the dark and the white people. Now, us as grade four students, we should learn how to jot down ideas of how we can help others that need our help. As we all know that there are people around this world that are suffering from starvation, that are suffering from uh, a lack of water that they cannot find clean hygiene or a clean water that they need, we have to find out ways we should open up our thinking helmet and think of ways of how we can help others, go uh, uh, giving them the needs that they need. For example, which we do in our school, which we have, for example, during Ramadan time, which we do the donations during winter time, which is winter is coming soon, which we try to help volunteer or provide the help of the people that needs those help. What I need you guys all to do is I need you guys all to take a piece of colored paper and I want you to jot down the ideas of how you can help others during this period of time. How can you help people that are in need, uh, that are in need of children, that, that are in need in the, in the freedom of right? How will you be able to give it to them? How will you be able to help them at this period of time? We need to open up our thinking helmet and think of different ways of how we can help them, of how can we do volunteering work as well, where we can help others that are needed. As we all know, as long as we can help one person, we can help the whole rest of people. I do not imagine that we can help everyone in the world, but at least helping one or two, three people will make a big impact into their life. I would thank you all for listening to my video. And let's get started with our activity.